Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to soft mod the Paw Patrol Arcade 1UP Junior cabinet so that it's able to play other games. We'll be using the software from Team Encoder and following their instructions how to do it. Before we begin, we'll need a few things. A micro USB cable, a Phillips head screwdriver, micro SD card and adapter, and a USB stick thingy. The first thing you want to do is head over to team-encoder.com and find the mystery pod link on the top. Click on that, scroll down a little, it's going to tell you it's not released, but then say there's an update and it has been released, so click on that. And right away we want to download their software. So use that link to go to mega.nz and click the download button. Once that's done, we can go back. I recommend scrolling down a bunch. This is the instructions we'll be following today. And you'll see download the media pack. You should grab that as well. It does take a while to download. This website is not very fast. So just hit the download button. Once you have those files downloaded, you can go ahead and extract them using your WinRAR program or whatever you choose to use. I'm using Breezy, whatever that is. It's gonna show you the files that it'll be extracting. So go to the extraction button and it's gonna create a subfolder where it'll put all the files in. Hopefully when it's done, it'll pop up like this. And that's all we really need to do at this time. The back of your cabinet should look something like this. So now it's time to take your Phillips head screwdriver and take out the four screws. One, two, three, and four. And then you're gonna have to figure out how to pop this piece out. This is a pain in the ass, and I did it by squeezing the one side really tightly and popping that side out, and then doing the same to the other side. It took some doing. This is the hardest part of the whole process. I've already taken mine off, so for demonstration purposes, I just taped it on. This is what you're gonna see when you take it off. Now, first thing you wanna do, you see this on switch here. You wanna flip that to off, the off position. Then you wanna take out the screw here and here. Then we can remove this panel. It's plugged in right here. The instructions say to leave it plugged in at this time. It will tell the computer to look at the SD card or the USB key. The next thing you want to do is to take your micro USB cable and plug it into the port right there. You might have to move this out of the way a little bit to get to it. And you want the flat side facing you. It's tricky to get it. There we go. Now when you plug this in for the first time, you might get a pop-up window saying Windows is searching for drivers, but you can just ignore that or cancel it. We're gonna install the drivers right now. So go to the extracted file, run the exe mystery paw, double click on that, say I'm sure you. I'm gonna allow this app to make changes. Yes we do. And right away choose step one, install the drivers. Click on that, another window will pop up. Pop up. And we do install driver. It should just take a few seconds. Install driver, okay. So press okay. Close that window. Now, if like me, it's not letting you go on to step two, you might have to try another USB port. So unplug that. Try the one next to it. And we'll restart the program. changes yes and right away it jumps to two so that's what we want to do next install mystery pod to PCB so click on that and let it do its thing once you get to hundred percent you can unplug the cabinet from your computer because we don't need that anymore now you can choose whether to use your mini SD card or your USB stick thingy since I don't have a mini SD card reader on this computer, we're gonna use the USB. Go 
go ahead and plug that in. And it's empty and formatted. So I'll just close that window. And now we can do the next step, copy USB data to USB drive. It's going to say that even if you use your mini SD card. So go ahead and click that. Now at this point, if you're using a mini SD card, you have to click use an SD card. Otherwise you should see, if everything's working properly, you should see your uh, USB stick thing there. And you can click install mini pa, mystery pa on USB. Now it's going to tell me FAT32 is not supported, so we have to format it. Okay, easy enough. We'll just click on format drive. Are you sure you want to format it? You'll lose everything, even though there's nothing on it. Yes. Formatting finished. Now install mystery paw. So we'll click on install mystery paw. Don't forget to click this box if you're using an SD card and make sure it's showing you the correct drive there. Once that's finished, it's going to tell you it's ready. Plug the USB stick into the machine after installing ROMs. And it'll give you a pop-up saying make sure you add some ROMs to the ROMs folder. Okay. So everything's done now. We can close that. We can close that. We're done with everything. So we want to safely remove our USB thingy. Or your mini SD card. And it's time to plug this into the cabinet. So if you're using a USB stick, where you want to plug it in is right here. And if you're using the SD card, it's going to go in right there. Make sure the USB stick is in all the way. It's a bit of a tight fit, but that's important. Now we don't need this anymore. So we're done. Computer, um, you'll want to plug in your power source to here. There, and plug it into the wall. This is for testing purposes. We want to make sure the software is uploaded properly. Uh, we have no ROMs at this time, so if you want to skip this part, you can and just go right to uh, adding ROMs. But this is just we want to make sure it's going to boot into the the uh, app that has all the games in it instead of into the Paw Patrol. So let's turn it on and see if it goes into the emulation station. And that'll mean everything is installed properly. Loading. And there it is, emulation station. So that's exactly what that's gonna look like right now. So everything is set up and ready to add ROMs. Back at our computer now, I plug the USB stick in so we can see what it actually installed. And you'll notice that there's no folder called ROM, so we're gonna have to create that. Right click, go to new folder, and just call it ROMs. If you use the SD card option, which I have in this computer here, it does create a folder called ROMs and a bunch of subfolders depending on the type of game. All your NES ROMs you want to put in there. Genesis ROMs, it's just where you put them. For some reason, this one does not make that. So what I'm going to do now is go back to our downloads folder where we first got the media package and mystery RC one zip files. When you ex extract the media package, which I've already done, it's going to make a folder like this. All we want to do here is copy these. So highlight them, right click, go to copy. Go back to your USB drive or your SD card folder. Go to ROMs and we'll right click and we'll paste them in there. Well, that took a while, but. Here we are with everything ready to go. And this is where you want to put your ROMs. If you have NES ones, drop the zip file in there. I recommend extracting it, although you don't have to. Some games 
seem to work just by playing from the zip file or it extracts it itself, I'm not really sure. Um, if you did the SD card option, then you can just overwrite these these folders. Like once you go to the ROMs folder, do that media package, you can just right click, press paste, and just overwrite wh whatever folders are there. Now you don't have to get that media package, you can skip that option altogether if you want. But feel free to browse through and see all the stuff that it contains, lots of videos and pictures. And I'm not really sure how to use those yet, I haven't played with it too much, but that's, it is there if you want to get that. And that's about all there is to it. Once you have your ROMs in the folders, you you stick your s stick, USB stick, or your SD card back in the system, boot it up, and you'll be able to navigate to left or right to choose um, whichever type of ROM you uploaded. And uh, that's about it. So. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them. I always respond to everybody, so I'm happy to help. Have a good day, guys.